Buongiorno beautiful people, how are you? I hope you're doing well, welcome back to my channel. Finally, the sun is out. For the first time in a long time, it feels like it's beginning to be summertime and it has been lovely. And this morning we have been uh, to uh, like a coffee shop where we had a coffee outside of the sun with the sunglasses and yeah, it felt like as if we were abroad, which was nice for once, especially because we haven't been anywhere in such a long time uh, but now we're having a little bit of lunch so i made this super colorful salad with sweet corn pomegranate seeds a bit of turkey that i cooked on the stove um that's rice and quinoa watercress sweet bell pepper beetroot i mean there's everything just because and also you can see that i'm literally balancing you in the tubs of pink stuff because this morning we actually had a bit of a I had a mocha and then we had a slice of Victoria sponge cake between me and my partner and I feel like I want a lot of greens so yeah I have to do oh and also avocado so yeah a lot of stuff in here um, because as well we're getting ready to go to the gym now I don't know whether I will myself film because I know that it stresses out when I ask my partner to film in the gym so I might use my phone to film a little bit but yes this week has been the first week back at the gym and it has been lovely we have been only twice only Monday and Tuesday and then after that we felt we didn't overdo it but we definitely felt like we needed a rest so yeah we went Monday Tuesday and then today Saturday and I think as well Sunday and then from next week we will go I think what we're going to do is like one day gym one day off one day gym one day off just to recover um, because yeah it has been amazing to go back and I feel like it has confirmed how much I love going to the gym and how much I missed it but I don't want to overdo it either so yeah we'll probably go one day on and one day off but the other thing I'm doing today after the gym so now it's 20 to 1 we're going to the gym at 1 30 actually I have forgot to book it we're going to gym 1 30 to 30 and then at 3 30 I have my first ever eyelash appointment and I know it's silly but I'm really nervous because I never trust places that I don't know and I don't know anyone here in this town for them to recommend me to go somewhere so i'm super nervous that i'm gonna get them done and it's a disaster or i'm not gonna like them because i said i've never done my lashes before so i don't know i'm, I'm really nervous but basically i'm just doing the typical lift and tint so i'm not doing any individual lashes yet just because as i said never done it before and i want to ease my way into it and i don't want to have straight away something that is very hard to maintain so yeah i'm just gonna obviously go to the gym get my makeup off and then go to this appointment um i also booked to have my brows tinted but i feel like they're quite dark anyway um i haven't put much makeup on right now it's just a little bit here to fill the gaps that i have and a bit of brow gel but yeah i feel like they're quite dark already so i don't know i might chicken out and tell the 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 lady not to do my brows at the end but yeah we've been around town this morning and besides wearing the mask we've been outside and some people did wear them as well which was awesome but besides that it feels like everything is literally back to normal like the pandemic never happened because there's the people everywhere there is um uh like a market of like plants in the middle of the square there's queues well well that's different there's queues outside every shop every single shop is basically filled with people or people waiting to get in because they're that full and obviously they're it's only like a cap of people that can have at the same time inside um i wanted to go to primark for example i wanted to go to h&m just you know just to browse around and the queue outside was basically going all around the block and looked like it was something like half an hour queue so yeah i give up i think if i go I might go tomorrow morning or sometime where when there isn't as much people everywhere but it has been yeah it has been lovely to see people out and, and about and just feeling like we're slowly getting back to normal but besides that i don't know at the same time i quite enjoyed having the streets a little bit less busy so it has been a little bit of a shock when we are out because 
yeah, I don't know. I like people, but from far away. And as Faith were to have it, I ran out of battery, changed the battery, and found out that my battery charger is broken. So let's hope that we have enough batteries to film this. Otherwise, I don't know, I'll film it with my phone. Before we go to the gym, I'm gonna have this protein yogurt just because if you know that I've been doing the elimination diet haven't had any um, dairy any any dairy um, gluten sugars alcohol coffee and a bunch of other things um, but um, I'm sorry incorporating them back and uh, when I had a protein shake so the protein powder whey protein that does make me so bloated and having oh, sorry for the noise but where is it my cat is playing with his new toy <laughs> um yes so i'm trying to incorporate back uh, protein powders and they're making me very very bloated and extremely like uncomfortable so this is the other way. Usually I don't have, I don't need protein supplements because I do have enough protein in my lunch, breakfast and dinner. So I'm completely fine. But today I had for breakfast, like I said, half a Victoria sponge cake, which is not, you know, nutritious at all. And then I had just a little bit of turkey of a slice there and that's it. So I'm going to have this. I think... I am going to train uh, legs again, just because I did legs on Monday. Then when we went back on Tuesday, I did upper body, so back, shoulders, bicep, triceps, a little bit of everything just to dip my toes into the gym equipment again. So I think today I'm gonna do legs. Romanian deadlifts, hip thrusts, lunges, and calves. And that's it, really easy, simple, and I should be out in an hour, so then I can shower, take my makeup off, and go to a day I lash point it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ay, coming in, coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win. Yeah, LA BB, who we running with? Yeah, two, two, three, three, I'm on ten again. Yeah, state your name. Big been dope on flame, I just switched the lanes Damn he did it again, I just flipped the pain Stripping and dipping in base, slab on everything Swimming you sinking away, cause I got big racks coming I put my low racks on it, I ain't skip past losses I had to get back off it, see the fit lab on it Until they whip my coffin, money clip I tossed it I heard it's big bags on big bags on big bags coming uh -huh. Coming in, yeah, flex, I just wanna win LA BB, who we running with? Yeah, two, two, three, three, I'm on 10 again. Pump up the action. I'm active. If he never heard of Ben Dope, he just napping. Jackson's off the rapping. Keep it on my body, bitch. I'm broke if you ask it. Don't gotta sell him, most of y'all is flawless. Broken whips as long as it is foreign. Heard you wanna, cause the game's enormous. What's in since she isn't gorgeous? Live my life, last name of Morgan Freeman. Trying to touch a forest, do not know we're knocking on the door. It's came in, I came in, I came in. Did it like the Porsches coming in. Yeah, flex. I just wanna win. Yeah, LA BB, who we running with? Yeah, two, two, three, three, I'm on 10 again. Okay, alright. Coming in, Coming in. Yeah. Flex. I just wonder... Good morning, it's the day after and oh my god, I think the worst thing that can happen at the eyelash appointment happened. Well, not the worst thing, it's not that my eyelashes fell off, but yeah, it was a disaster. The technician couldn't curl my lashes because apparently they're not as long as they seem and when they put the little cushion behind it and they tried to glue it, to put the product to then like make them curl they wouldn't glue back and she tried everything she called her colleague after like a few minutes that it wasn't working and they were both doing their best to curl my eyelashes but they wouldn't curl and so I mean it basically didn't do anything and they're exactly I mean I put mascara on now but yeah it didn't do anything um still had to pay for it they did give me a discount but they, they said that my eyelashes just they just don't want to curl and basically that if I want to have sort of like a more lifted look or a more whatever look 
um, that I should get infills because for infills, which I didn't know, apparently they don't curl your lashes. They just like they don't lift them at all. They just add the individual lashes and glue them to each individual lash that I have, and that's it. And it looks more lifted just because the lashes that they add the longer and the curled and so like the whole thing looks yeah a little bit lifted but yeah it didn't work my eyebrows they did tint them and i mean i still have to infill a little bit at the center um and i do use the little brow gel to just you know put them in place up a little bit but they do look better um, they look a bit weird when I don't have any makeup on and my face is a little bit more pale Especially because I didn't fix that on my face Because uh, I didn't know if it, I was meant to or not with a brow appointment, but anyhow Yeah, it was a disaster And I lost, well I lost, but like it took two hours and a half for nothing at the end And it's really annoying, but I think I will wait a month and then just get my fake lashes And just go for it and get the infills and yeah we'll see but yeah so it's the day after the gym was let me put you here again the gym was awesome uh i don't know if i explained a lot i don't think so but basically yes this week the first week at the gym we've been going whenever we felt like and we had a few days off to recover not because we pushed too much but just to make sure that we didn't overdo it um but from next week i think we're gonna do uh one day on one day off and alternate that way and i'm definitely going to keep scheduling or structuring my workouts with upper body days and lower body days as you seen from the session that i put yesterday uh what i decided to do is one exercise per muscle and that's it just to ensure that that my I'm easing into the gym very very slowly and gradually as opposed to do three or four exercises per muscle in one day and then just you know overdoing it or injuring or whatever so yeah I decided to do just one exercise per muscle or per area and that's it and I have been really enjoying it and I think for me at least is the best way to do it especially you know at the beginning so yeah as you saw i did a little bit of front squats just because it's a compound movement and i'm working on getting back my form and just very much be mindful of the movement as opposed to just you know pushing for weight um but yeah if you don't count the squats basically i structure it as a romanian deadlift principally for the hamstrings then hip thrusts principally for the glutes then i went into reverse lunges to do a bit more of the leg slash quad area and then i did my calf raises for calves so yeah one exercise per muscle and that's it and it has been awesome and i will do i think next time i do film i will do upper body and i will follow exactly the same format but yeah it has been lovely and i really really enjoyed it uh but right now i am getting ready to go to primark as i said it's not as early as I thought, it's basically almost noon, it's half past 11 in the morning. So yeah, definitely not as early as I thought I was going to and I'm probably gonna have to do the queue that I tried to avoid yesterday. I think I'm gonna have to do it at the end. But I just wanted to go around, film a little bit. If I found some things that I like, I'm gonna buy them and then I'm gonna show you. So yeah, I'm gonna get ready and I'm gonna go. Ready to do some damage. Every night I'm going on the grid, texting back. Oh, that's cute. Hit you up, I'm on the other side. I miss you, miss you. I think I actually might prefer a lighter color. Still not in my size. Your pheromones hit the roof, auto, your taste. It's really a bad reception out there. I would love to be the kind of person that can wear padded shoulder, but I feel like it makes me too broad. That's a nice color, isn't it? Ooh, so cute. You know what? These are actually really good. I just wouldn't know where to go with it. 
I see cute pyjamas though that can be quite nice. Like these short sleeve with okay I couldn't find the matching one but we have this tiny short sleeve with these shorts. So it looks like a nice Oh so there wasn't really much of anything to show and it has been quite disappointing i still got a few things but not as much as i thought i would get and definitely i didn't see as i said anything i liked at all and even like to show you there was literally nothing to show you except for like a whole section of t-shirt another of leggings and a few activewear but in terms of summer clothing or things that are a little bit more original like instead of basic tees and leggings such as like i don't know dresses tops there wasn't a lot so that was a bit disappointing and i think i don't know if it's because they need to get rid of stock or maybe the one that i have nearby here is not as big so they didn't have i don't know places to put things but yeah I think this makes officially a failed vlog because everything I tried to do in this vlog has been a complete failure and a disaster so I apologize but I thought I would show you before finishing the video what I got just to do a little haul um, I did get a few things off camera so I did get a few shorts um, these are just like a paper paperback effect shorts and I thought they could look really really cute especially because I don't have anything a little bit more uh, relax I have everything really tight and lately things like straight leg denim uh, mom jeans and things a little bit more on the baggier side are in so I thought I would try them so I got this one then as well as you saw I did see this sweater which I thought was really cute with a different style around the neck um, it has a seam at the back right at the top and it's just a really lovely baby blue color so yeah I really wanted to try it to see if I could bring some color into my closet because I literally have nothing colorful then once I did I think I did a Primark haul a year ago something like that and there I saw a few little things that I loved and one of the things I did try there was actually this this exact top but I had to return and I couldn't find any other size so I got it on I got the wrong size they were on a hanger on a size small and now i'm looking at it it's a size large so yeah again other fail uh, but this top is actually really really cute i would recommend if you can get it to get it so i will i guess i will have to go back to the shop and see if i can find a size small because i think that's what i got last time and it worked really well then one of the other things i really wanted to try were cycling shorts i don't have many i just have a very light gray pair from aces so i wanted to try new pairs and sort of have this like yeah cycling shorts and baggy t-shirt with sneaker style and try it on so i got these three colors to complement the ones that I got then as well in the basics kind of category I got as well this super cute t-shirt in blush with a folded up sleeve that I thought was really really cute it was only yeah four pounds so I think to lounge at home that would be really cute to have and as well to lounge at home I as I showed you I thought this cute combo of t-shirt with short sleeve and then this super cute shorts which are a little bit like ruffled on the bottom and i thought that would be great to lounge it now that is well not yet it's not yet hot but it will become hot slowly so hopefully that is something that we can get and then finally as well i got this hat which i thought was really cute this baby pink hat some scrunchies which i am not a scrunchy girl i have never owned a scrunchie i never used a scrunchie um, my hair is so heavy that I don't think it can work but I saw a tutorial on TikTok where you just put it on top of a normal hairband just for decorative purposes so yeah I thought it was really really cute and it could have gone really well with the stuff I got with this like grey pink um, tones and then finally I got some cleansing makeup cleansing cloths which are 
surprisingly soft and really really nice and um, the slightly longer version and they're this fleecy material which is really soft on the skin so I thought this would be great to rinse makeup off without having like such harsh uh, muslin cloth which I have that I think I have to just throw away and yeah this is everything I got as I said nothing much very basic but there was literally nothing else to buy I really wanted to get some some dresses and some other cute bits that I thought would look great and I couldn't find anything so that was disappointing but I did place a ASUS order the other day um, I guess I sort of ha somehow knew that this is was gonna be a fail or maybe I sabotaged myself but yeah I knew that I would have needed something some other clothes from some other places so I got a cute white dress from Aces um, as well there was a sale of some sandals from Aldo Dune and some other places like that so yeah I ordered that and hopefully that's going to be cute so I will probably try it in another vlog but yeah I don't know I feel like every single time I try to do something different, um, especially with like lashes and eyebrows and whatnot, um, it sort of bits me in the butt. And I can never be the girly girl that I aspire to be. Uh, even though I try my best to look at reviews and to I try my best to, you know, see what I should be doing before going. But I mean, I could not have known that my lashes won't lift so yeah i guess that's a lesson learned um uh, but yeah i really hope you like this vlog i really hope you like the workout i think that was a great workout it's very simple very easy but i as i said i want to go back to basics gradually get my way into the gym and gradually get back into where i was before or at least into a more comfortable and powerful self that i am right now so yeah i think i'm going to structure my workouts more specifically to what i want to do so i still have to plan everything around my workouts and i still have to establish a routine and a system or a method that i want to follow but as soon as that is done i would definitely let you know and i will definitely film it but yeah if you tried the workout then please let me know and if you like it then please don't forget to comment below but yeah this is everything for now hopefully the next vlog is going to be more interesting and hopefully the next video is going to be successful and not this failed vlog that i have published today but yeah i really hope that nevertheless you liked it and please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my youtube channel for more probably failed videos and yeah and hopefully we'll see you next time ciao Every night I'm going on the grid texting back I want you hit you up I'm on the other side I miss you miss you